Yesterday at Point Pierre, Petrotrin Board of Directors, by unanimous decision, gave a commitment to assist in the funding of Trinidad and Tobago's efforts towards Rio 2016 to the tune of $2 million. And so the journey to Rio 2016 begins. At least that's the belief of one corporate entity as far as support for future Olympians goes. Petrotrain has not hesitated in putting its money where it matters most. In fact, the state-owned oil and gas company has put $2 million of it toward talent identification and athlete development toward our 2016 goals. This is a four-year program set to benefit 20 select athletes, eight in athletics and four each in cycling, swimming and boxing. $24,000 per year per athlete over a four-year cycle, but the money will not go toward athletes already in receipt of assistance, government or otherwise. Instead, the aim is to fund those promising athletes, helping them to realize their Olympic dreams. And more importantly, Mr. Gillette stresses that 24000 per year is not nearly enough, but should go a long way. Please note that this is not about elite funding. And I repeat, this is not about elite funding. This is about helping young athletes at the grassroots level to realize their full potential. And there are many of them out there. People wait for an athlete to get a gold medal or a silver or bronze to really begin supporting or really to get some sort of a support into the future, when in fact what that athlete requires is a lot of support before it actually occurs. Having been in swimming for, for the last 20 years, I have seen many, many athletes who really, really great athletes with, with tremendous potential, tremendous talent, not even being able to support or not even being able to afford simple things like shoes or the right vitamins to give support for any games he's preparing for. These funds will be dispersed through the relevant national sporting organizations to athletes who they deem worthy. Reporting for CNC3 Sports, I am Jassi Marik.